There are so many phrasal verbs in the English language that it can be overwhelming. This series is meant to help you look up phrasal verbs that you hear or see, and also learn new phrasal verbs in small, manageable chunks. Today, we're going to be looking at the phrasal verbs involving the eyes, namely the phrasal verbs using see, look, and watch. The best way to learn phrasal verbs is to make sure that you hit the like button on this video, and while you're there, make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss future videos. Phrasal verbs using the verb see are a little surprising because they don't have much to do with sight at all. Instead, they generally have to do with dealing with things. To see something or to see that means to manage a situation or to take care of it, usually personally. I'll see to it right away, sir. See that the cat is fed. I'll see to the paperwork later. To see something through means to keep up with it so that it's finished. Uh, to, to not give up. To the end is often added afterwards. I'll work hard and see it through. Good job for seeing your lessons through to the end. Even though it's not technically a phrasal verb, I want to add the verb oversee to this list. It does look a lot like a phrasal verb, and it's basically the preposition over stuck on the beginning of the verb see instead of after. And it has the same similar meaning, to take care of or to manage something. He oversees this project. I oversee a dozen employees. The verb look is a bit different. It's almost always used with a preposition or a direction when it uh, refers to the use of using your eyes. Phrasal verbs using to look follow this pattern and inv involve intentionally studying something. To look into something means to investigate. The journalist looked into the scandal. Would you look into our plumbing problem? To look something up or to look up something means to research it, um, often in a library or on the internet. I looked up pandas on the internet. Would you please look up a recipe for soup? To look for something means to search, uh, to try to find something. It can be for something that's missing or something new. I've been looking for my keys all morning. Can you help me look for a new pair of shoes? To look something over or look over something means to look at it closely. Uh, often to examine it or to check it for errors. Look over your exam before turning it in. The officer looked the suspect over. To look forward to something means that you are excited about something in the future. Are you looking forward to the party? I'm looking forward to summer already. To look after something or someone means to take care of that person or thing. Uh, it's often used with children or the sick. But sometimes it's also used for problems. They look after their own needs. Can you look after the kids tonight? Look after yourself.
That last one is often used to say goodbye. To look down on someone means that you think of them as inferior or lesser, whilst to look up to someone means to admire or respect them. I've always looked up to teachers. You shouldn't look down on people for being different. Phrasal verbs using the verb watch usually involve being careful. To watch out means to be careful and watch for danger. It's often used as a, a, a shouted warning. Watch out, there's a spider over there. Watch out for poison ivy in the woods. To watch out for someone means to take care of them. The same as look after, only for people. Watch out for my brother while I'm gone, please. Watch out for pickpockets. Now, this isn't always a separate phrasal verb. Sometimes you're just telling someone to watch out, as in be careful, but for a danger or that's a person. Obviously, you're not supposed to take care of the pickpockets. To watch it or watch yourself is a warning to someone to change their behaviour. It's often used as a threat. You better watch it, buddy. Watch yourself around those thugs. Finally, to watch your back is a reminder to be careful and pay attention for an unexpected attack. To watch someone's back is to do this for them. Be careful, watch your back. My friends watch my back. And there you have it. See, look and watch have several common phrasal verbs. They generally refer to paying attention and taking care of things and managing things. Not many of them actually have to do with sight, but rather with attention. I hope this helps you with your phrasal verbs. If there are some phrasal verbs that you'd like us to explain with some examples, then let us know in the comments. Look after yourself. If you've enjoyed this exploration of these three verbs and the phrasal verbs they can make, then check out our live streams. We answer questions and talk about the use of lots of verbs and phrases. The live streams are a great place to really dig deep into a topic. To see the schedule, including when our next live stream is, visit our website at englishlanguageclub.co.uk slash live. And subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications every time we're streaming. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, check out one of our other videos, and um, I'll see you next time.